see all of you and to see so many of you. I think there's a clear message that no matter if it snows, if it rains, we're still here and we're here to fight for our students. I was a U of W student and I've recently graduated. Uh, looking back to going to school to do a master's today, we're uh, protesting against Bill 31, which is a bill uh, that would allow tuition increases at universities across the province. So when I was in, I started post-secondary education in 2011, uh, and for a long time, many years, I knew and that there was going to be predictable increases, which I didn't agree with, but at least I knew that the increases were going to be predictable and not break the bank. Now the increases could be a lot more money, 5% plus inflation, plus unregulated ancillary fees, which throughout the time of the summer or working throughout the year could be really hard to make that money. In, in Ontario, which has the highest tuition fees in the country, they also have the largest class sizes. They haven't seen the kind of results for a better quality education as a result of having high tuition fees, so we won't see that in Manitoba. The only way we'll get high quality institutions is if we get a strong investment from the provincial government. This year we left five faculty positions vacant through attrition. Next year we'll be leaving ten faculty positions, and the year after probably another five. And that means cuts to programs. A lot of our departments at university you know, only have three profs. And when you cut one of those, you lose the pilot courses, and suddenly your degree is delayed by another year and another year. And then increasing tuition at 6.5% per year puts undue burden and stress on the students at university. This bill is punitive. It is punishing us for having a wonderful previous 19 years in this province of some of the lowest tuition and best regulated tuition fees in Canada. If they are going to increase tuition, it should only be by the rate of inflation, not by 5% plus inflation. I think it's important for students to keep speaking out and to try and uh, weigh in on the, on the bill and do what they can to show the uh, Palliser government that this is uh, the wrong move. But I think more scholarships and bursaries are good, but we've seen that Palliser is also failing on that front as well. They promised uh, 20 million in uh, scholarship and bursary money. We've seen that six months into this year, they only have 1.8 million raised. So they're behind their own targets, they're behind their own metrics. So they need to bring a lot more to the table to help students uh, deal with the affordability uh, challenge.